Jump by Madonna. Are you ready to jump, Alan? Uh, no, I'm sitting down and my legs are crossed. Fair enough. I do love that song. That's from a Confessions album. I might have to play a bit more hard candy Madonna songs over the next couple of weeks because I'm loving her. Loving her. Loving her. Uh, do you know what? I'd like to be her friend. <laughs> do you think she'd like to be yours? Probably not. No. I'd like to be Jerry Halliwell's friend. Well, do you think Actually, she'd like I to think, be yours? I think Jerry Halliwell and I would be a match for one another. We'd be both so high self obsessed, yeah. high maintenance, that we'd either get on brilliantly. Or we'd kill each other. Yeah. After <laughs> Either death. way, you're both going to be happy at the end. <laughs> yeah, well, no, I don't want to die. <laughs> die for the love of Jerry Halliwell. You could be killed by Jerry Halliwell, though. I still don't want to die. No, okay. I've got loads of things to do. Final Destination New Zealand via the world. Via the world. <laughs> yeah. Did you watch your football on Thursday? I did, yes. Wednesday. Uh, yeah, what did you say? Thursday. Thursday. Wednesday, yes. Wednesday. Yes, we're not going to talk about it, though. Why? Because, um, it, 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 it was a bit boring. Because they lost. Yeah. They Your were, team was crap. They were very much outplayed. Really? They were pretty bad. <laughs> really? Yeah. Was Wayne Rooney playing? Rain Rooney. Wayne Rooney. Wayne Rooney? Wayne! Dwayne Dibley? <laughs> uh, yes, he was. Well, have you, have you heard about Wayne? He denies that he's been having hair loss treatment when the season's over. Because apparently when it's gone, it's gone. <laughs> so Wayne Rooney's going bald, but apparently he was going to have hair recovery treatment. He is, he is going bald. But uh, people have done that before, like um, Shane Warne and Austin Healy, other sports sing, sporting Austin stars. Austin Healy, I know that name. He's a rugby player, you probably fancy him. No, I don't, but he was in Strictly Come Dancing, wasn't That's he? That's right, he That's was. That's why yeah. I know he's him. He's got quite a lot of hair, hasn't he? Quite well, a fair amount. Decent amount. He's got hair. Has he had used that regain stuff? It's, I mean, the, what, it's on an advert or something, yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's regain. Other bald correction services are available. <laughs> are there? I'm not sure if there well, are. you can have plugs. Excuse me? You can have plugs. They take the hair... Oh, hang on. Am I, am I making this up? I'm Did sure they remove this? the hair from somewhere else and put it somewhere else. I've also heard that they can screen graft hair from your bottom if you've got a hairy bum and stick it on your head, but I don't know how true that is. <laughs> <laughs> so you could actually, like, have your bum hair on your head. Don't know, you're arse from your elbow. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say arse? Uh, you just have. Just have. If well, he's offended, email in. Yeah. You're listening to uh, Something for the Weekend by with Gavin and Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, nice work. Um, well, what well, the celebrity gossip have I heard? This Dave week? Benson oh. Phillips invented chicken tikka. Is that true or not true? I'm, I believe it's untrue. Oh, but it would have been funny if he had. It been good. Dave Benson Phillips, was he, have you met him? Get your own back! I know who he is, have oh, you met him? No, I haven't. Oh. <laughs> I that met was... Kenneth Branagh. Oh, was that yeah. exciting? I was bigger than him. <laughs> taller than him. <laughs> I was bigger than him. I was like, where were you stood next to him? <laughs> oh, I see. Uh, <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> no, I'm afraid no. not. Okay. No. Did you well, know I don't know, I might be. I, I haven't compared. Maybe we should get him on the show and ask. Wait, we should. We'll ring him up now. <laughs> Why not? Let's right, ring up Ken. Kenneth Branagh. Tell us about your King Lear. <laughs> or something. I don't know. Anyway, what are we talking about? <laughs> I don't know. I was going to give you some more silly celebrity bump that I've been hearing. Go on, then. Sharon Osbourne, apparently, is so desperate for TV fame because she's not doing very well over here, is she? <laughs> and that she's been offering to do Strictly Come Dancing for free. But she's got no background in dancing, is she? Well, no, she's just so desperate for, like... Oh, you mean be on it? Not like a yeah. judge? I was thinking a judge. No, not a judge. No, they wouldn't have her as a judge. Oh, that's all right, then. No, I think she wants to go on Strictly for free. Blimey neck. That's and desperate, isn't it? It is. It's a little bit desperate, isn't I it? know, I don't like it. And Leonardo DiCaprio wants to play Frank Sinatra. <laughs> But you know what? I don't know about how good he'd be at Frank Sinatra, but I never used to like him because I thought he was just a pretty boy and stuff. But I think he's all right now, you know? He's a good actor. Yeah. He's a very good actor. And yes, he did get stuck with the pretty boy thing in his in his early 20s. Mm. Uh, and now he's not so pretty, he can, he can prove himself. <laughs> now he's right? hideous. Well, it's not hideous. Oh, he is. He's, he's uh, repulsive. You know, he's, he's hideous to my eyes. He offends my sight. Ooh. Mm, I don't know. He's all right looking, I suppose. Yeah, I've seen worse. <laughs> I'm looking at you now. <laughs> How rude! I'm only joking. I'm a hunk, hunk of burning love. You are a hunk, hunk of burning love, and I love your shirt, Thank by you the very way. Much. Nice, isn't that? Once you got it from, it was blooming expensive. Is it? Mm. I bet it wasn't, but it, it was. still looks fabulous. Can we tell you how much it was? Go on. Twenty-eight quid. 
stupidly priced, isn't it? And you it? pay twenty eight pounds. I know. I had an expensive weekend. Do I, I have to say, it works on you though. So it doesn't. Don't it, I look lovely? It was well, so money well spent. Thank you very much. And you'll have to wait to YouTube to see the photos of Alan's shirt. That's right. And if you missed any of our previous shows, remember they're all blooming well there. Yeah, on everyone. www.youtube.com <laughs> slash ah carry on Friday. Oh, that sounded like <laughs> end your day the right way with carry on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should take it into a more chilled zone then. Do you reckon? At 10 o'clock. Do you want to find some chilled out music for yeah, you? You maybe. keep talking. Maybe okay. I'll quit look. Because, you know, we could discuss uh, other celebrity ding-dongs that have been going on. Gary Barlow um, has said that um, he wants to help Jason Donovan make a comeback. Um, he's got a few good tunes that would suit him. Oh, dear. Which, I don't know. I don't know. Would you really want Jason Donovan to have a comeback? I don't know, man. You know, doing the whole sort of... The whole scheme of space and time, I'm not sure if the room, the room and the world has got room, or the world, for Jason well, Donovan. Well, according to the internet, don't worry about getting a mortgage, don't worry about having kids, don't worry if you're in debt, because in three years, the world is going to end. What? In 2012... Hang on now, hang on now, no, no, this needs a proper discussion. I say we play a song, we come back, and we talk about dying in three years. Okay. Okay, let's play the new one from Ash. <laughs> 